to talk more about this approach of unlocking massive business opportunities and the work they are doing with ThoughtSpot, I did like to introduce Marcos Peralta, Senior Vice President at MasterCard Data and Services. Welcome, Marcos. Thank you for doing this with us. To kick things off, we would love to hear a bit about you. So can you tell us about yourself and your role at MasterCard? Yes, absolutely, Samit, and a true pleasure to be with you and, and uh, with all this audience. So, um, well, I'm not exactly exciting topic, but um, a little bit of my background, I'm Argentinian. I have 25 years plus of experience in consulting, technology and product management. And right now I am responsible in a division of MasterCard called Data and Services in bringing new products to life. So I led basically a team of 50 product managers around the world, and we are deeply specialized in insights, analytics, um, test and learn and experimentation kind of products. Thank you, Marcos. Uh, that's great. Uh, great to have you here. So maybe tell us uh, about some of the challenges uh, you were facing when it came to leveraging your data to maximize your market opportunity? And, and what were you doing before and what made you look to ThoughtSpot? Yeah, great question. So look, um, one of the big opportunities that MasterCard has been trying to tap on in the last year has been what we call the business to business flows, right? Um, um, we have a very strong foothold in what we call um, consumer payments, but we really wanted to get into business payments. And we really had some place there, some products, but all of them were fairly limited. And, and we really needed a technology that will help us to unlock the opportunity. And, uh, and that's where at some point we started looking outside the company and this is what I came across thought about. And I was immediately excited about it. And I said, wow, this is the thing that can really get us move a lot faster in the path that we need to go. Um, and I would say the following, right, is um, this is a BI tool that we're creating for business-to-business -business payments. And there are a ton of BI tools out there and a lot of great recognized brands and, you know, ThoughtSpot is doing great, but you also you guys have a lot of great competitors. Um, but what really hooked me were three things. Um, the fact that ThoughtBot was going beyond just dashboards and really getting into the search and AI um, the whole, I would say, uh, anomalies recognition with AI is something that you also will see in some of your competitors. The ability to query the data using natural language programming and simply talking to the platform and using the search bar, just Googling the data and getting graphs and responses was something that I, I got to tell you is the one of the top selling points when we do demo of this product that we built together to, to clients, right? But there were two more things that for us were important that are less, I would say, um, sometimes less portrayed, less flashy. The second one really, it was uh, the flexibility of deployment. Um, we knew that we were creating a product that will tap into sources of data that for clients are very sensitive. They didn't want to send the data to MasterCard. The fact that we can deploy ThoughtSpot in multiple cloud environments or on-premise on top of being hosted in MasterCard was a big attractive uh, you know, factor for us. And, um, and finally, the third thing was how fast you can tap into all these multiple sources of data and bring it to the platform. And I'm gonna tell you a story with you and the audience, but um, it's, it's my internal success story. So we, we in, in consumer payments, we created a platform, which is honestly, it's pretty good. It's solid, it, it works, but it took us two years to get there, right? So when we were starting this journey with ThoughtSpot, I had a team and they're going to Chicago, working with the ThoughtSpot team. And you know the plan was they would stay a full week and we will try to get as far as, as, far as possible. And the product manager leading the effort calls me at 8 a.m. on Monday and say, hey, we're in Chicago, we're gonna start when I'm going to start working. And I said, okay, good luck. Call me when you know something. He calls me around noon, four hours later, and say, hey, we already brought all the information in the platform. 
And I said, look, cannot be, how, what do you mean? You, you already done that part. I said, yeah, yeah. It was supposed, our original estimate was it would take us three days. And the guy did this in four hours. And then he said, yeah, I'm going to start working now and configuring the platform and building the team boards and all, and all that. And say, okay, well, call me when you know something. So he calls me around four and he said, hey, we're done. I said, what do you mean you're done? He said, well, you're finished. And I said, you know what? And I said, no, I just brought the, you know, the thoughts on the massacre thing for some beers in a bar and say, go back to the office. I want to see this. I thought, honestly, I didn't believe them at, at first sight. So, but long story short, Thoughts would allow us to do in one day what took us two years in this other product. To me, that's um, that's a huge statement, right? And today when people tell me, hey, why we're using ThoughtSpot instead of this other product or instead of doing this ourselves, the answer is it's much faster, it's cutting edge, it gets you what you want, um, it's flexible, and uh, you know, and it's a it's a top tier, you know, definitely it's a top tier product. So for us, um, you know, I'm I'm super happy we made this decision. Oh, thank you, Marcos. That was like uh, you know that made my day actually. <laughs> uh, took two years takes one day with ThoughtSpot. That's awesome. Uh, maybe Marcos, uh, one more question. Uh, how will uh, ThoughtSpot everywhere? You heard about ThoughtSpot everywhere. How yes, will- I did. How will ThoughtSpot Everywhere help you open new revenue streams or improve on existing revenue drivers? Yeah. So look, uh, and again, right now we're working a lot with ThoughtSpot in this B2B space. Um, I think we will bring it to other spaces too, but right now we really need to, to you know, to, to drive this. So I would say the following, right? This product that, um, that we were working on and we are working on actually. So it has a module that we call the car explorer and you can go there and, and the payment explorer. So you can go there and see all the flows and all the graphs and understand what's going on and that's cool. And we're putting that in the hands of not only analysts but also of the account managers that will go and talk to a treasurer. So actually, the account managers of banks now are going and having a fact-based discussion with corporate CFOs and treasurers of how the bank is serving them, what are the untapped opportunities um, to do that. So that was good. But what really came very cool was we had a second module that's called supply enablement. It basically is about helping corporations to make their suppliers to take um, commercial car payments or real-time payments or other forms of more modern forms of payment than traditionally checks and wires. And um, and this is a solution that we were working on. It's a full workflow, et cetera. And we say, hey, can we put this into ThoughtSpot and really help people while they are executing the workflow and making decisions, they can see the data at the same time and it's not two tools in which you are moving screens. You are really seeing the data while you are going through the workflow, and and that was a huge um, step forward and unlocked a lot of value. The corollary of that, the result of that, you think about it is we're getting Mastercard now is getting more payment flows, right? We're getting commercial cards and real-time payments, which are the most modern two ways of paying in commercial payments more accepted into, into the market. Um, and also for the corporations, right? You were really unlocking value by doing that, right? Especially in the time of COVID where many of these corporations, some of the suppliers are really, you know, mid-size or smaller size, getting paid faster for them is hugely important. Suddenly being able to have these tools and showing to them, say, hey, if you open up to this kind of payment mechanisms, you can really get your money faster. Um, and all of that is being, you know, enabled and run by, by, by ThoughtSpot. Um, and there is more to come, right? So we have a rebates module. Um, MasterCard is, we are creating um, a, 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 a data flow that enriches commercial transactions called VPS track. And now the VPS track is coming to us as a, hey, can I put my data into ThoughtSpot? So I would say the thoughts about everywhere is working. What's really surprising me at the beginning was a push from my team to the rest of the organization. Now it's becoming a pull. And, uh, and thank God because of what we talked at the beginning that it's easy to bring the data in quickly, et cetera. 
we're not being overwhelmed by, by, by this ask and we're continuously figuring out how we put thoughts but everywhere to capture those, those opportunities. So look, for us, it has been a resounding success. Um, we still have a, you know, a, you know, a, a, a way to go, uh, expand this internationally, et cetera. But I'm, I'm super confident that uh, with a technology and a partner like us, but this is, this, you know, we're going to be successful. Awesome, Marco. So it looks like um, being able to look at insights in your business workflow and then being able to uh, convert a commercial payment segment uh, into uh, something that uh, MasterCard is able to exploit as a new revenue stream. I think that's, that's huge. That's, that's so good to hear. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Look, this is the biggest opportunity for MasterCard and thoughts, but it's in the middle of it. So you guys can be proud of that. And, um, you know, and we, you know, we're super happy to keep working together. Thank you, Marcos. We are happy as well. It's a pleasure to work with you, work with MasterCard. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights uh, with us and with everyone else. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you to all of you and have a great um, meeting. Take care. Thank you.